What's going on guys? So today uh, we have a Ballistic Advantage 13.9 inch barrel. Uh, it's the Hanson profile and we're going to test this out at 100 yards to see what kind of accuracy we can get out of it. Uh, topped on this we have a Rhydon Optics Patriotic. Uh, this is a 1 to 8 by 28. So I'm going to be shooting on the 8 power to see the groupings that I can get. Uh, I'm going to be using just uh, regular 62 grain green tips. Um, this barrel is supposed to be capable of shooting uh, sub MOA groups out of the box with uh, match grade ammo, uh, which green tips is really not match grade ammo, but I want to see what kind of accuracy I can get with it. Uh, I'm going to do some uh, sighting in at 100 yards, and then I'm going to take it out to 200 yards to some steel silhouettes, and I'll uh, show you guys the results I get. All right. Uh, what else we have going on with this rifle? Um, this is uh, a ballistic advantage uh, upper receiver. Uh, ballistic Advantage lower receiver. Uh, obviously, the barrel is a Ballistic Advantage barrel. Uh, we have a Midwest Industries handguard. We have the um, BCM Voltor uh, A5 uh, buffer tube with a A5-0 uh, uh, buffer in here, and that seems to be cycling the brass uh, pretty well. Uh, we're doing it about a uh, 3.30, 4 o'clock ejection, so everything seems to be working good. Uh, so far, I have about... Uh, 60 rounds on the rifle so barely even broken in yet but nonetheless i uh, want to see what kind of accuracy we can get out of it so uh, let's send a few down range and see what happens And now I'm going to shoot some 55 grain steel case wolf. Uh, I know for a fact that this ammunition does not cycle this rifle. Uh, it's going to short stroke. Uh, the ejection is at about 3 o'clock, uh, but the bolt's not coming far enough back to uh, chamber the next round. So uh, I'm going to be manually uh, cycling the rounds after each shot. But I want to see what the accuracy is like. So uh, I'm going to take this out to 200 and see if I can get on some steel 10-inch uh, uh, gongs. So we're hitting consistently at 200 yards with the uh, Wolf 55 grain steel case ammo. So it stinks that I have to manually cycle it, uh, but hopefully once I get the carbon seal on the gas block, there'll be enough pressure to uh, push the bolt far enough back to grab the next round. double feed so uh, let's clear this and let's get down range and I'll show you some of the targets all right what's going on guys I'm back um, so I wanted to do another round of uh, test firing here uh, I wasn't really happy with the first round of uh, firing that I did uh, the groups weren't as tight as I would have liked them so uh, I came out and I got some uh, burger ammunition here so I reached out to, uh, to the guys over there and they were nice enough to send us some of this uh, 77 grain OTM tactical uh, 223. 
So we're going to test it out with the 77 grain match. Um, I also brought some um, 193 uh, cartridges. These are Wolf. Uh, I have some 855 uh, green tips in here in Lake City brass. Uh, I have some Barnall 55 grain um, steel case. And I have some Wolf uh, 55 grain steel case. And then I have some hand loads with um, 55 grain horned the ELDX um, bullets. And uh, I think that's it. So we're going to test those five rounds. Six rounds. We're going to test those six different rounds uh, and see how they do. So uh, let's send some down. Uh, let's start out with the uh, 55 grain uh, steel case wolf. Uh, that didn't cycle. Um, I know that this rifle doesn't cycle the 55 grain wolf, so I'm just going to manually cycle that one. And I'm going to drop the magazine because I'm only going to do three round groups. Okay. So we are clear. Just going to take the rest of the rounds out of here and going to load this up with a couple of these hand loads. Now these are fire formed for a different rifle so hopefully these cycle. We'll see. Let's move to the Barnall steel case. Okay, so this is uh, Russian ammo, 55 grain with the uh, sealed primers. Next up, uh, we're going to do the 62 grain uh, green tips, the uh, M855s. I'm going to hold off on the Wolf uh, M193, and I'm going to go to the uh, Burger 77 green. Uh, reason being is this is my this is my sixth round. Uh, the target I have up there uh, is uh, has only got five targets, uh, five small uh, sighting targets on it.
Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this one. Uh, I don't want to really just waste a target just to see how these group. Um, these are also 55 grain. Um, they're just not the mild steel core or whatever the, whatever the green tips are. Uh, so I'm not going to bother testing that. Um, we already did the 55 grain uh, wolf steel case and the 55 grain barnol steel case uh, and the 55 grain um, ELDX. So uh, I'm going to go down range, pull the target, and see how I did this time around. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I uh, pulled the target. I uh, did some uh, rough measurements here. And here's what it looks like. Now, I didn't do this on purpose. Uh, it just so happened that everything that was 55 grains and even the 62 grain was just about at two and a quarter inch, okay? So let me hold that steady for just one second. So pretty much everything is at two and a quarter inches except for that uh, burger 77 grain. So the burger 77 grain is just under one inch. Uh, it was at about uh, nine tenths of an inch. Um, I just put one inch there just to make it easy. So um, the whole purpose of this video was to test that 13.9 uh, barrel from uh, Ballistic Vantage that they sent me. And, um, you know, uh, you saw from the first clips that my first round of testings, uh, my groups were probably uh, about the same, maybe a little bit bigger than, than the two and a quarter. Um, and it wasn't until I actually reached out to the uh, folks over at Burger, uh, they actually supplied me uh, some of the 77 grain that uh, I was able to see what the accuracy was really like with, uh, with some match grade heavier ammo. So, um, you know, uh, it's a, you know, a sample of one. Uh, so, I mean, I think it's safe to say that those ballistic advantage barrels, the 13.9, is definitely capable of shooting sub MOA. And, uh, oh, and also this was at 100 yards. So uh, I didn't mention that at the beginning of the video, but, um, but yeah, this target was at 100 yards and uh, I was shooting on uh, eight power. I didn't really take too much time in between shots. Uh, I just kind of checked to see that my um, center dot on my reticle was uh, somewhere within these uh, orange areas here, and I took the shot. So uh, there's no doubt about it that the uh, rifle and the ammo, uh, all of them, all of the ammo, shoots more accurately than I'm shooting. So I think it's pretty safe to say that that Ballistic Advantage 13.9 barrel is definitely a sub one MOA barrel from the factory. And, um, and again, I, I mentioned it earlier in the video, um, I think I only have uh, maybe about 100 rounds through that barrel. So that to me, that's you know not even broken in yet. So we'll see how the barrel performs over time. Uh, just a couple of things to know is with that Wolf 55 grain, um, I wasn't getting the action to cycle, okay? Uh, I do have a, uh, Voltor buffer system in there. I believe that's an H, uh, H1 buffer. Uh, might, might even be an H0 buffer. Um, I'll check and I'll post it uh, in the video here somewhere. Um, and uh, that's a Sharps uh, DLC uh, bolt carrier group that's in there. And it's on a Ballistic Advantage lower and a Ballistic Advantage uh, upper. And uh, I think that rail is a Midwest Industries rail. Uh, one of the combat series rails. So uh, that's kind of everything that's working together there. Uh, I also have a Geisley uh, SSA trigger in there. So uh, obviously that helps a little bit with the with the accuracy. But yeah, overall, uh, that's how this rifle did it with my shooting. So uh, if you guys grab yourself one, uh, do some testing of your own, and I'd uh, like to see what kind of results you guys get, all right? Uh, post it down in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.